up everyone welcome back to our channel it's been a while since we filmed in the house so I figured I would start the vlog off in the house you can see we're already decorated for Christmas over here and the trees behind me but I have not lit the tree up yet my mom said as long as I don't open the blinds and turn the lights on I won't be an embarrassment to the neighborhood I actually think it would bring some joy Holly's here say good morning say it's eight o'clock and I'm being crazy already but today is the first Monday of, I'm getting a little blurry. As I was trying to say, today is the first Monday of November. It's November 2nd, so October is officially over and all the stats are in. So we had a great month of October. It has officially been two years of selling Tales Up Pup. So October of 2018 was like our first month full month of sales and everything. So now we can really reflect on two years ago, one year ago, and now this year, which has been so crazy to see. So from one year ago, we grew over 100% in sales, which is so crazy. Um, it's not expected. We did not expect to grow that much, but we are very thankful and it's been so much fun. And it's actually been really cool to see that with the team that we've grown, we actually were able to maintain our three to five day turnaround time. The only thing that made us a little nervous was the launch day when we sold 1100 items in one day that took a while to fulfill. But other than that, we sold an average of 111 items a day in the month of October. So we were able to maintain that, which is really, really cool. And we're excited to see where the future takes us. Um, so what we did in the month, you guys like business stuff. That's why I'm telling you guys this stuff. A lot of you guys find it cool. And I know Nick and I find it cool. So I was going to say that in the month of October of 2019, one year ago, the amount of sales that we did in the whole month, we did more in the first hour of our launch. So in one hour, we did more than we did in the entire month last year. So that's crazy growth. We just can't even believe it. We're excited to see what happens the rest of the year. Um, and if you guys follow us on our Instagram stories, I put that we were very, very close on October 31st, $100 away from hitting a goal that we had and we did end up hitting it. But I did go back and say that that wasn't our original goal. We exceeded our goals in October so early on that we had to keep morphing our goals as the time went. So we're going to have to do that for the rest of the year too. Obviously, we've already hit goals that we set out. So we have to sit down and make some new goals. I'm not quite sure what they're going to be because it's hard to even guess what's going to happen. But business is crazy. It's so much fun. And yes. I will bring you guys to the office. We are planning on decorating for Christmas. I'm just not sure it's gonna happen today or tomorrow. If it doesn't happen today, then that means I'm gonna be filming two days in a row. Um, so, I don't know if you guys know, but we hired another girl. Her name's Madeline, and she comes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Today's Monday, so it might be easier for Venny and I to decorate when Madeline's there tomorrow. So I'm just not sure. Mondays are also really hard because there's so much going on with all of the weekend orders, but Yes, we are very excited, and um, oh, I know why I was filming here though. I wanted to show you guys a new storage hack. So a ton of people always ask us how they should store, there's really windy out there, I didn't know what it was, um, how they can store their slip-on bandanas because you can't like tie them around things. So if you are a customer and looking for a way to store your bandanas, or if you're a store, this is a great way you could display them. You guys have seen how we display them in our own store, but not everyone has a grid wall like that. So if you sell clothes, you would have a clothing rack and this works well. So in our little closet here, this is how I'm storing our girls' bandanas. I will link these hangers down below but they work, it's kind of dark in here. I'll bring them out, how about that? So they work perfect for the slip-on bananas. You can clip them to be fit the extra small or clip them to fit the extra large. And they just work really well on a rod like this. So they're from Amazon and I will link them down below. They're just children's clip hangers. I actually don't know if they're technically children's though or if they just fit smaller stuff because they look kind of big to me. Also over here, we got a delivery of new fabric. So we have a red lights, but we got a new one to replace it. And I realized we didn't really have candy canes. So these are gonna be new arrivals in the upcoming weeks, which we're super excited about. Good morning, Grace. Can you sit and say hello? Say good morning. Aww. Good morning. 
thank you. Do you want to go to work today? Which bandana do you want to wear today? <laughs> you are so cute. I will also show you this part, which is fun to look at, sales by product. And then you can see what the top selling products of October were. So our matching pajama sets were definitely the biggest thing. And then the cookies and milk bandana, traditional Christmas plaid, sharks and Santa hats, blush reindeer. This is really fun for me to look at and see what people are liking the most. Another thing I did want to say is not only was October our best month on our internet sales, but also in wholesale we gained four new stores to be in for the holiday season, which is super fun to have our products in more places. So we're kind of growing all around and some people have commented on my whole video on wholesale. So um, I'll see if there's any questions I can address in this video, but if you missed that and want to learn about wholesaling your products, I will link that video below too. But I'm gonna go look and see if there's any questions that I could answer for you guys from that video. Okay, I finally made it to the shop and we have officially decided that we are going to be decorating the Christmas tree tomorrow and putting up the decorations. So we will be filming another video, so that's very exciting. But I am going to answer some of the questions about the wholesale. So Cecile, I think, um, asked, can you do a video about buying fabric wholesale? So technically, the fabric that we buy isn't wholesale. I wouldn't say compared to like the toys and stuff that we buy wholesale, the fabric is kind of just for sale so I'm sure you can find some people who call themselves a wholesale fabric company but the fabric we buy is either from mostly all from small businesses so we sometimes are paying up to $18 a yard which is very expensive but it's worth it to us and we can still make money doing our business with that so we pay that because we want those fabrics we think that they fit our brand that the patterns are cute so technically the stuff we're buying is not wholesale. Um, they also said how to find wholesale in more detail. For us, we found the companies that we buy wholesale from, we found most of them at the Global Pet Expo. So if you're in the pet industry, you could look into going to that sometime. If you're not in the pet industry, there are other markets like that for different industries. I know for clothing and boutiques, there is a ton of different options. There's the market in Atlanta, there's one in Utah, so there's, I think that one's called Magic. Lots of options for finding wholesale. You can also just Google um, whatever you're looking for. Wholesale, women's clothing, and try to find things that way. Just make sure that maybe if it's your first time you can get a sample so you're not buying hundreds of units at one time and then end up not liking the quality. Okay, this is a good question. The next question says, can you resale wholesale items that you're branding? For example, do your dog toys have your own branding on them? So our, the toys that we buy are not private label, so that would be called private labeling. You could find a company to private label you toys or you could manufacture them yourselves, but we currently do not do that. Maybe in the future we would do that, but it definitely is more expensive and harder to find manufacturers who will do that for you. So right now we just buy other brands and sell them with their brand name on them. The next question is, is there a minimum order requirement for wholesale products? So as I've said before, we do two different wholesale. We sell our products wholesale and then we also buy other people's products wholesale. Both ways, yes, everyone always has a requirement so that you, not anyone can buy them and you can't just buy one thing. So for us, we require them to spend a certain amount of money and that's also what we see a lot on the other end. Sometimes it could be like a quantity number, but most of the time it's like spend $500 in order to place an order. Um, yeah, so there are definitely requirements and if you're creating your own wholesale program, you get to make it. So if you don't want a requirement, you don't have to. Just keep in mind that you don't want someone buying just one thing at that wholesale price. So you need to think about what that threshold is that you can make enough money. That seems to be all the questions about wholesale. If you guys have any other questions ever, you can always comment on our videos. We are always reading all the comments. And also we need to celebrate that we reached 4,000 subscribers. That is super, super exciting for us. Thank you for subscribing, following along. And if you haven't, please subscribe down below. Um, also, we have been talking about TikTok on here and our TikTok has grown even more. So that's super fun. You can follow us over there. Um, but I guess let's go see what Nicholas is doing for the day. Good morning, girls. Say so you guys already saw us, but not at the office. 
Whoa. Whoa. What are you doing? We are pulling all the bandanas from the list from the weekend. We got the Chitty Trees, the brand new one that launched this weekend. Cookies and milk. Gnomes. The gnomes is also new. Lots of fun things. Happy holidays, matching plaid, all the things. Lots of fabric overload over here too. This is a little crazy. We might have to have a cleanup session. You can also see some sneak peeks of Valentine's, love potions, some dogs with hearts, lots of fun things coming for Valentine's, which is crazy that it's November, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we are going to finish pulling all these items, get working on bandanas, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about wholesale. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. And as I said, we will be filming, setting up the office for the holiday season. This will be our first holiday season in the office. So we had to buy all new things. And we're very excited to see what kind of vision we can bring to life out there and make it look like Santa's workshop. But thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Toodles. Well, we are going to finish pulling all these items, get working on bandanas, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about wholesale. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. And as I said, we will be filming, setting up the office for the holiday season. This will be our first holiday season in the office. So we had to buy all new things. And we're very excited to see what kind of vision we can bring to life out there and make it look like Santa's workshop. But thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Toodles.